Hi. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today we're going to have a video for a Sunday Morning Coffee episode. I thought it'd be a good idea to, to see you. I know I can't see you actually. See you, see you. I can sense you, feel you, see you with my third eye perhaps, but now you get to see me and get to do a cheers in this new year with our mugs. Thank you for all of you who have your Sunday Morning Coffee support mugs. Thanks for that. All right, today's topic is spam. Spam, yes. Spam filters. We're gonna use spam as an acronym, but we're also gonna talk about it for what you think of when you think of spam. You think of getting bombarded in your email box, right? Communication, tons of marketing, random stuff, stuff you don't need and you didn't ask for. It's coming in and it's clogging up your communication receiving channel. This is happening also to us at a spiritual and energetic level. Given current events, given the experiences that are going on globally and in the United States. In addition to that, which is also happening in, get this, our personal human lives. As if that wasn't enough, we get excess, excess stuff, whether it comes from our interpersonal relationships with friends or spouses or children, or from other more acquaintance style relationships at work with coworkers or bosses, et cetera, we're getting a lot of information and about at least half of that stuff that's coming in is spam. And I want to empower you today in our Sunday morning coffee episode to help you to manage some of that. Let's set some filters so that you don't have to just magically absorb all those in. We're going to put them into a folder and let those automatically delete because you don't need to waste your time and energy with other people's stuff being thrown at you. And that's really what's happening right now. And it's natural for that to happen. As humans, it seems as though in part of the relationships that we have with others, we come together around things that we have in common. And right now it seems like there's some very current event things that everybody is experiencing. And so you can talk about that. And yet what is the glue that is magnetizing that together is really stuff that you don't really want in your energy field, that you don't want in your brain. The thoughts that other people are sharing, their opinions, their views is, is theirs, just like, your natural instinct to share, to vent, to express or expel the energy that you're feeling is totally natural. It's completely natural. And yet, through this concept of spam, using energy and your spiritual know-how, you can actually compress that information put it into, kind of sort it out and put it into almost like an automatic recycle bin because other people's opinions, feelings, views are theirs. They're not yours. This doesn't mean you stop listening to them. In other words, just because you get spam in your email box, it doesn't mean you don't use email, right? Am I right? We still communicate. You can still connect with other people. You can still be in relationship with other people just because they have intensity of emotion, just because they express themselves very vocally and verbally and, and are intense and passionate and really stirring all sorts of dust up around them. You know, I'm seeing like the image of pig pen. Do you guys remember Charlie Brown? If you don't, if you're too young for that, Google up an image of Pigpen where he walks around with just this messy kind of swirl around him. Some people are just like that. It doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make them great motivators either. But the good news is, is you don't have to manage that. You don't have to manage other people's feelings. You don't have to be ready and prepared for somebody to go in on a deep conversation with you and spew at you, like just spray at you all of their feelings and beliefs. Now you and I both know very well that as an empath, you are gonna receive some of that. You are gonna just be around people that need to be heard, that just need to have an outlet. And you just happen to be there 
with the big outlet written on your forehead. <laughs> no, you can still be there. You can still listen to them without taking it in. Listening and taking on energy are two different things. You can honor the relationships that you have with other people, whether it be your coworkers, your boss, your sister, your kids, your spouse, your neighbor. You can honor those relationships by listening or letting them say what they need to say. And instead of all the stuff coming right into your inbox, which is your heart, dump it right here. Give me all your crap. I'm just a doormat for everyone. Universe, just dump all the crappy energy and conflict right on to me because I'll take it because I'm an empath. I'm such a good person. Instead of doing that, let it come out of them and onto the floor. Let it come out of them and slide down your energy field like the trunk of a tree into the earth. Let their stuff come out and go to the earth because the earth, the energy of the earth, recycles, repurposes, transmutes. Remember I said, we're gonna talk about energy and psychic skills that you have, okay? So spiritual skills that you have, intuitive skills that you have. Use this now to create your spam filter. Let the energy of other people that you care about or that you have to be, you have some kind of an agreement like at work to be in service in that environment without letting it overcome you and you be a big doormat for just give me all you got, I can take it. You don't have to do that. That's an old way. That's an old victim way. That's an old pretend fake way of acting like you care. You're so compassionate. So you'll sit and listen, but you mistake the concept of listening as taking on their crap. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Stop. It's spam. It's Spam, we've all been tricked by the marketing of emotions and feelings and freedom of expression and sharing your opinion and everybody matters. We've been tricked into believing that that means something very different than it actually means. Everyone has a voice, everyone gets to express and share, but let it come out of them and down your energy space, like a tree down your energy space down into the earth, let their stuff go right to the earth. Just create a circle, imagine their stuff coming out of their mouth and their hearts, because really what they're sharing and expressing is heartfelt. It's clearing, they're detoxing, and when somebody is clearing or detoxing when they're sick, you don't wanna be by them. When they're dealing with a virus, perhaps, or they got the flu maybe, and they're kinda letting it come out, you know what I'm saying, without being too graphic. That's exactly what's happening here, but it's natural. It's not good or bad, it's just, it's just natural. You know, you know this is a pattern, this is a pattern. And what you can do is create a spam filter that is new, up-to-date, modern for the new empath that allows that energy to come, come out of them. Let them, let them know that you're, you are a safe space. But that doesn't mean you take it on. That doesn't mean you fix it. That doesn't mean you're the hero. That doesn't mean that you agree. You just are there. You're just present. And you can say it. I'm just present. I'm here for you. That doesn't mean I'm going to fix it. I can't fix this. I can't make it better for you. But I can be here. I can listen. And what listening means is just holding space. And what holding space is, is letting them get their stuff out, letting it go into the earth and come back in a positive way for them for healing. Let the earth take it, let the earth take it. Let the earth take it because she's an alchemist. She can recycle, this is energetic, this is spiritual. Are you at the new level? Are you? Are you ready to transcend this very structured old way of looking and being and inter interrelating with people? Are you ready? Let's add and upgrade our spam filters. Let's create a new way as empaths to be present, to honor, to allow people to move through their process without judging them or without hurrying them through it because don't you, don't you mistake your need to be comfortable for your nobility in helping others. I'm gonna say that again. Don't mistake your personal need to be comfortable with nobility in helping others because people, so many people, especially empaths, will redirect 
will not want to be present for somebody else venting or spewing their opinions. So they'll either ignore them, avoid them. These are, these are total defense mechanisms that are completely realistic and rational to use and have been very effective in the past. We'll avoid or ignore these people or we'll redirect and try to help them. I want to make them comfortable because then I feel comfortable. It's hard for us to be with someone and feel all that discomfort. So what I'm suggesting to you is implement a new spam filter and I'm gonna give you SPAM, S-P-A-M, as an acronym. There's a lot of stuff in this Sunday morning coffee and I know you're ready for it and I know you need it, especially 2021. We're in the first week of January and we need it. We need it to sustain us to allow us to step into our power in a heartfelt way that's not reactionary, that's proactive and that's what's productive. To be present, to let other people have their experiences without us having to step in and stop their experiences. Do not stop them from saying what they need to say or to express what they need to express even if you don't agree, even if it's not at all something that you could possibly palette. See it for what it is. It's theirs and it's not yours. This is not about division and us, us empaths versus them, all everybody else that wants us to help them because we're all the same. Sometimes we are those, those them people that needs help, that needs somebody to just step in and fix it because it's, it's hard. Life is hard. Processing is hard, being a person is hard, but luckily for you and I, we have this intuition, we have this energy around us. We have more than what we can see with our, our human eyes. We have more. You're so much more resourceful. You're so much more capable of allowing other people to process their crap without getting in it with them. Don't have to do that anymore. That's an old way. You don't have to ignore and avoid. Instead, instead use SPAM, S-P-A-M. And I want you to take that as an acronym, put it in your journal. I'm writing in my journal this morning, one of them. I have a couple of different ones. They're super cool this year. They're super cool, my journals for this year. I'm trying to see, how do I, here we go. They're super cool, cool journals this year. This is just, a, this is basically just a notebook, but. Spam. So I have a couple of acronyms. So write it down and I want you to use it as something that you repeat over and over and over again when you're reading Facebook and somebody's triggering you or when you're listening to a friend or like me, I listen to my 96 year old grandma go on and on about current events, about viruses, about violence, about all this stuff. And I just let her speak of it without becoming it. You don't have to become it. You don't have to fix it. I just let her get it out of her system. I listened, I was present, and I let the earth take the energy. It didn't become me, it doesn't have to become you either, but this takes practice. And lucky for you guys, we have lots of opportunities in the next nine or 10 months to practice this. So let's get good at it now instead of waiting until the ninth month and go, oh, this has been a hard year. Guess what? The memo is out now, so step in. Step in, know that you're resourceful, know what your power is. It's not to stop or prevent discomfort, it's to allow people to be who they are and let them figure that out because people are becoming right now. People are becoming and people are collectively, externally, we are watching people clear the toxins from themselves and from other systems and structures they are connected to and that takes time. It takes time. It's not always miraculous and instantaneous and it's not a pretty picture. So what you can do is use spam. Use it to your advantage. Let's leverage this as a tool. So write in your journal spam, S-P-A-M. Write down, write in line, and then you pick words for each of the letters, each of those four letters. Yes, you know I like four, it's the archangel number. Four, four pillars is a tool that I use in session with people all the time. And so four is a nice balanced, energetic number. And 
S-P-A-M, spam has four letters. So it creates a structure for you and it's kind of silly. And the brain likes stuff that distracts you, right? That's another way instead of avoiding or ignoring distraction. So let's use it to our advantage. Be resourceful with the tools you have. So spam, S-P-A-M. So here's some possible words when I was thinking of this myself in regards to other people expressing their opinions and seeing all this discomfort and all this pain that's happening and, and all this confusion and observing it and also feeling that energy within myself, deeply feeling it this week and knowing that I have the skills and the structure to manage and navigate it using this, like a simple tool with words to help the brain understand what's going on spiritually, energetically. That's where your power is, you guys. That's where the power is. Finally, empaths, we got power. Yes, let's do it. We've been getting ready for this now forever. So you know what to do here. Spam, create the four energetic structured pillars using this word, S-P-A-M, and choose words that might fit for you and be creative with it, be fun with it, so that when somebody is going at, going at you or venting, while you're listening, you can replay this S-P-A-M in your mind and create words that have to do with each one of the letters. And that will just remind you to help the energy go into the earth, let those people be who they are, they're becoming, they're clearing, and you are enhancing your connection to yourself, to the spiritual helpers and energetic support that you have around you, and you're honoring you're showing up, you're being present, and I'm so proud of you for that. I know it's not easy. I know it's not. I don't expect, it. it's not easy. Of course not, but you, you can do this. You can do this. So here's a couple of ideas for you. So here's a couple that I came through, came, that just came flying out when I was connecting into this. Soul, presence, active, meaning. Soul, presence active meaning so this activation like what is this meaning I, my spirit is present for what's going on here and i'm feeling activated what does this mean mm, that's a good one huh see look how deep this can get you guys it also can be fun too like singular perspective one person's view right singular perspective access meaning I like this word meaning, access meaning, singular perspective. That's their perspective. Okay, it's their perspective. All right. They are trying to access meaning, like deeper meaning. A lot of people, we're watching people having spiritual experiences. They're coming to Jesus moments, so to speak, without actually being conscious of it. We are watching people evolve and change and shift we're watching them shed and sometimes it gets so bad before it can get better you have to hit rock bottom right some people for some people that's their process because they're really ingrained in structures and i myself have that i have i know i i know i have some structures some patterns some go-to patterns of behavior that i personally am working through i have a coach that i'm talking to tomorrow to get the support that I need, which brings me to another version of spam filter for you. Support people, support people and accept the mess. Support people, accept the mess. Support people, accept the mess, it's messy. Let them just spew all over you their energy, but it doesn't affect you because it doesn't come into you. You're present behind this energy of a tree going deep into the earth and that earth energy is recycling and repurposing. She is magical. Use the elements of earth to help process this. That's why we're humans. That's why there's a planet earth. That's why we are connected to earth to have help because we need it now. All right. Here's another one. <clears throat> And you can be funny with this, right? So I'm gonna try not to swear with the A word. I'm gonna let you interject your own A word there, okay? Stop pushing. Stop pushing. 
SP. And then I have this little kind of phrase that I've been working with and it's the masses are not as, <clears throat> so those are the last two words. Masses is my last word and as with a couple extra S's is my third word. So stop pushing the as masses. When you are ignoring something that's important, when you're procrastinating, aren't you kind of crabby? Are you a little grumpy? What about when you know you're resisting something? When you feel resistance within yourself, don't you get crabby and moody? Don't you get angry? Because it's so much easier to get mad and push people away from you instead of actually addressing and dealing with the real emotions, which are fear. Anger is just a front for fear. And underneath that, there's other emotions like sadness, like grief, like personal loss, like wounds that make us feel like we're not enough and we're never good enough and we didn't have opportunities when we were 25 to go to college and so now we're, we're just, we're the, the poor working class and we don't have whatever it might be for you, whatever it might be, or I missed out on that opportunity because instead of studying nursing, I studied finance and now here today I could have helped all these people in these hospital settings and here I am instead in a miserable job working with other people's money, those kinds of things. Like there's so much regret that lives underneath resistance that connects to fear that time is running out for us, that we're not good enough, that our, we're not visible, that our voices aren't heard, that we're not seen. And more so that, we're, that opportunities are being stolen or taken away from us. There's this perception that, that it's not even entitlement, but there's this energy that that connects to that resistance piece that comes through anger that feels like we missed out like we missed something we missed out it's not just about being lucky it's about we were passed over for some reason we didn't get notice and other people did and that's not fair and we feel cheated like life is cheating us these are just some examples of, of feelings that are underlying this anger and the need for expression. And that's what we're seeing. You can't fix anything for anybody else right now, especially right now. You can just be there, be here. And be here in your heart, cultivating this knowing that earth is present for you so that you can process your stuff and your feelings and your emotions. And yes, you can vent and not judge yourself for it, especially if you're moving through the process. If you get stuck on the venting, that's a huge red flag that you need to reach out for help. Get your counselor on the phone. Start scheduling some sessions ahead for the next two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, two months, I'm not kidding. Call your counselor, your licensed clinical social worker, whoever you work with that's a mental health worker that provides you with an opportunity to process and talk through things without judgment in a safe space. For some of you that might be in small friend groups. However, I caution you with that because friend groups, they have skin in the game. They want you to feel better. They don't like to see you suffering. And so right away, friends can step in and try to fix it and make you feel better. So just know that that will be their motivation because they love you and they, they have skin in the game. They care so deeply. They, y the way you feel really affects them. And so it's natural for them to want to help you. So they may give you advice, well intended, but it might not help. It might make you actually feel worse because when somebody gives you advice or tells you what to do, it's kind of like they assume that you don't know how to take care of yourself and you do. In fact, right here, right now, my friends, you are learning to take care of yourself. You are. And at the same exact time that you're working through your own personal stuff, maybe you're dealing with addiction. Maybe you're new in recovery. Maybe you're, you're working with a diagnosis. Maybe you've got, during this incredibly traumatic time, you got a mega diagnosis, a health diagnosis that you're gonna be having to work through. There is a lot that you might be processing personally. And that doesn't mean that you can't be there for other people. 
You can. There is a balance here that happens. Just notice that you're observing. You're a compassionate observer. You're not the fixer. You are not Jesus. <laughs> Amen and hallelujah. You are not Jesus. And whoever your massive healer that you look up to is, <laughs> you are not that. The only person you are that for is yourself. And that's your personal connection with that spirit guide or those spirit guides to help you to shepherd you through your process. You don't have to isolate yourself while it's messy, while you're the one that's the spam. Don't worry about that. Be authentic. Maybe that's one of the A words, authentic. Maybe S is show up. Maybe P is pursue. Maybe A is authenticity. And maybe M is me. For me. For me. Oh, you are beautiful. I'm so glad you're here with Sunday morning coffee. I'm glad you're part of the channels that I do and I share. If you're looking for some inspiration, you can check out my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel, Above Life channel on YouTube as well. And you can also find me on Bridget Inspired on Facebook and Instagram. All right, my spam friends. If you are so inclined and so inspired, go ahead and put below some of your spam acronyms that you're going to use so that you can let other people deal with their stuff and let them become as they're becoming and honor your own process. It's not a competition. It's not an us and them. That's what got us to this point in the first place is the separation. That's a myth. It's totally an illusion. Now that's a real conspiracy theory, isn't it? The us and them? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. I look forward to reading your comments below. This is Bridget. Thanks so much for being here.